everyone my name is Hannah and this is my dog Maggie and this week I haven't been at school so I've been spending some time with Maggie and I thought today we could read another story so what story is it going to be today today's story is a squash and a squeeze and I would like to do some signs today so I would like you to look for the animals in this book and sign when you see them I'll give you a clue of what you might see in this book. You might see a hen, you might see a pig, you might see a goat, or you might see a cow. So, when you see the animals, make sure you sign. Okay, so a squash and a squeeze. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and growls, there's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your hen, said the wise old man. Taking my hen, what a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your goat, said the wise old man. Taking my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg and sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, glory be, it was tiny for two and it's tinchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your pig, said the wise old man. Taking my pig, what a curious plan. So she took in the pig who kept chasing the hen and raided the larder again and again. The little old lady cried, stop I implore, it was tinchy for free and it's teeny for four. Even the pig and the larder agrees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. She said, wise old man, won't you help me please, my house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your cow, said the wise old man. Taking my cow, what a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. The little old lady cried, heaven's alive. It was teeny for four and it's tweeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man, but then I'll be back to where I first began. So she opened the window and flew out the hen. That's better. At last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she blew, pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was tweeny for five and it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and frilly dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and frilly dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book. Bye.